Cross the high boundary, turn over to uh, my bug. Um, all right, so that was a broom down for an injury. Tom Dawes of the Basilisk has just gone off with a bloodied face or nose. Do you know who replaced Tom? No. There's some beating going on the my blood have budget control. Very nice. <laughs> that like, guy is Jordan, I think. Interesting game. Yeah, so it's 20 to my bloods, 10 for Basil, but only a couple minutes in. Also, viewer, if you notice, there's uh, beautifully colour coordinated cones we've got this week. We've got green for the soft boundary and red slash orange for hard boundary. Very well coordinated. Nice work, equipment manager James Brooks. Yeah. 
Oh, face beat from Graham. Gets beat himself. And then my buds can uh, retain bloody control. I don't know how much I can see of the poems in this video. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the commentators are best when they say the things that you can't see on screen. There you go. I'm an excellent commentator. That is true. <laughs> Alright, that was no call. And one goal, so that's 20-30, or 30-20. <laughs> to the Mudbloods. I'm very impressed with the mud blood so far. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty well. They seem to have improved a lot since the start of the Vic Cup. Yeah, definitely. Mm. The Bastlers seem to be missing Kenji, Fujiharas, mm. Yoshi. Mm. Um, yeah, and they have a lot to prove. Is they missing Ed as well? Uh, not sure. Um, they have a lot to prove. They had a big game last week, which they unfortunately lost to the Centaurs. Oh. Oh, that was my yeah. Hmm. My bloods are good. They seem to have a lot of structure around hoops, lots of passing, and also good defense, I've noticed. Okay. Like they've stopped a lot of goals. Sure. I've decided to give up. I need to focus on one thing. Yeah, fair enough. Whoa. Uh, I don't know if this is working. It don't work well as a unit. Sorry. <laughs> I can try more. No, no, it's okay. Jordan coming around again. Oh, green show. Alright, there's no call and no goal. And no goal. coming on for the Basilisks. My bloods have had budget control for quite a while, most of the game I think. So hopefully Sarah can bring some experience. Um, yes, no, just copy. Uh, ball's gone out the hard boundary, so it's a mud blood ball now.
Oh, big drive from uh, Adrian. Oh, man. Um, and Mary's lad's Yeah. What's the? That's There we go. Yeah, with the bludger control, it's difficult for the uh, basilisk to push. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, they've got quite a few of their strong players, but I guess without the Fujiharas and with Dort's injured, it might be a bit yeah. difficult for them. Actually, it looks like they got Yoshi over there. Oh, there you go. Maybe he came later? Mm. I think I saw him before. Yeah. That's good. I think, yeah, they need they need to change up something if they want to influence this game. Uh, Jordan misses. Nice turtle from uh, yeah. Basilis player. How, how would the Mudbloods be doing if they didn't have Jordan? It seems like he's scored at least half their goals. Mm, yeah, he definitely seems to be the MVP of the game but so far. I think they're doing still pretty well without him, though. Good. Well, mm. Mm. Yeah, you can tell they've been practicing a lot. Mm. No, I did. I lost that quaffle. Anyway. Because <laughs> I could lose it, I don't want to swing the camera around looking for it. But anyway, fun times. My blood seemed to favour the uh, slow approach. Let their beaters get rid of some players and then drive up. They're struggling a bit right now. There they go. <laughs> that was pretty good. Marin just picked up and put it in in case it wasn't goal. I like that. Yeah. It should, you never know. Sometimes a yeah. foul can happen. Just get it in. Oh, the Basilis have bludger control again. Oh, woohoo. Was that, was that double beat? Oh, excellent. There was a yellow card to the Mudbloods keeper for action after beat. I didn't think he realised it was beat because it was a double beat. So he kind of flung the quaffle up. And the Basilis have scored out of that with them a player down. Yeah, so that means that they're back on. Bit of confusion with touching on. <laughs> it's his second game, say the Mudbloods. Alright, Jordan, keep it back on. <laughs> With my buds. Keep it just lost his broom, he's fine. Watch out, Thank you, Mel.
<laughs> no, I'm falling. I'm good. The Basilis seem to have a much better defense now that they've got bludger control. Yeah, well, they've also got they've got Graham on his beater. Hmm. They've also got um, Yoshi on. He's like strong shaper. Mm -hmm. It looks like our daughter's back on the subline, so he might be okay, playing again like after his injury. Tape across his nose. Yeah. And now that the Basilis have bludger control, never mind. I'll let that out. <laughs> Did they just lose it? No, no. <laughs> Oh. Mm. A few of their driving players, like uh, Yoshi and Adrian, can be very difficult to stop. Timeout. Timeout by the Mad Bloods. 60 60. How, what do they talk about? How will it change the game? Will they win? Will they not? <laughs> yeah, it seems like the Mad Bloods have lost a bit of the momentum they started the game with, but. I still could get it back. Again, especially if they... I'd yeah. say the Bachelors have gained some momentum. Ah, yes. No, that too. There you go, just as we talked about the momentum of the game. Maybe it'll switch again. So that was scored by Ash King. Nice pass from Jordan and nice. Nice. It was a goal to Jack Davis, the Basilis. Okay, well, I am 85% sure it was him. Okay. Nope. Ah. Sometimes just like step around. It's great. <laughs> oh, Marin again. I believe the Basilisks are in front for the first time this game. It is 80-70 to the Basilisks. Still anyone's game. Oh, yep. <laughs> you 
Ja. There was no call, just a quick discussion about whether the Basilisk Chaser was beat before goal, which he was not. Goal stand. You want me to angle it down? Yeah, so like we get... You mean up? Yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and snitches on pitch. Dundee snitch today. Hopefully he doesn't get injured like last week. I didn't see. No one is. So that's a uh, 30 point difference now. Hmm. Well, still, it's the fact that Snitch is on pitch and the game's within Snitch range. I, well, Should be no, interesting. It's, not. it's for a draw. So I'd hmm. like to see my blood score now to find it even it up. Hmm. So we've got Seekers on now. We've got Adrian. And I think that's. Ash? I can't see his number. No, I'm distracted. Follow the quaffle. <laughs> number eight, if you yeah. have his number. Yep. So Ash seems like he's going for the catch as well. Because they believe they were worried about that happening. What's that? Well, the the basilisk just got out of snitch range. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we should see Ash trying defensive seats now. Mm. He's got the memo that they scored a goal. No, it looks like he's going for. <laughs> he caught it. No, it fell off. <laughs> Not a very sticky snitch tail today. And there is Dorts back on. Oh, it's a tape on his face. Good to see him back on his feet. So they're just counting the count of the goal that was mm. scored just beforehand. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I think the final score is 150 to 70, and the Mudbots did a really good job. Yeah. But the Basilisk won, which is even better. 